Hey, what's going on YouTube? Here's a dollar on a five hour chart. <clears throat> Lots of news out there that this could be the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, wishful thinking is um, we still need an, uh, uh, some kind of a, an opposing point to start a pattern um, on the upside. So right now all we're looking at is a V bottom. Uh, we need some kind of an opposing point, maybe to come down. Um, we're running into a triple top, tri uh, tri tips um, at 94.20. So maybe it hits resistance, comes back, makes an opposing point, and then we can start a pattern. Uh, but right now it's just a V bottom. Uh, not much happens on V-bottoms. Sometimes it does, but um, not too often. So on a daily, you can see all the hubbub. The bullish encompassing candle. And we do have an opposing point now on a daily chart. But um, right now we're below trend. Uh, the trend is the 34 on a daily. And as the 8 came across the 34 you can see that bounce so let's see it come up to resistance uh, call this a bearish retracing and see if it'll come back down for us but uh, not sure uh, so far the for the week has done much but um, <clears throat> we do have that bounce and an opposing point so we can start, we have a, a down and an up uh, trend lines. But uh, for sure on a long-term chart, prices below, well below resistance, uh, the EMA 8, the 13, and the 34 trend. Um, the EMA 8 and 13 are pointing down. And so that's not good. Uh, waiting for that longer term 34 day SMA to start pointing down. It's leaning but it's not um, it's not not going down yet. So let's see if this thing can hold for the uh, remaining of the week. Uh, anything below uh, these spots um, could spell disaster for the dollar. Um, we've got a lot of Thin lines of support all the way going back um, from the start of this pull. So, mostly sideways. Let's see if it'll fall down or pick, it, pick itself up and hit the, the other side of the uh, natural point of return. But um, not much of a balance on a weekly basis or long-term chart. You know, all the hubbub was coming from a daily chart. And I'm calling a bearish retracement as the 8 came across on the daily. So it's bearish to me, even though it has a bullish uh, encompassing candle. So on to uh, S&P, kind of slid back a little bit, uh, hitting into resistance. So it's going to be a struggle to make all-time highs. But um, let's see how the week closes out. Uh, this is the weekly candle so far. So quite bullish, breaking the previous uh, two highs, three highs, and now we're up to previous four highs. So let's see if it'll close above this previous high, which is uh, the beginning of this long sideways action, um, which is almost there. Let's see if it'll do it. Same with the Dow. Um, See on a daily. Looks like the candle's green, but it came down below 18,000, so not sure why that candle's green. Uh, five hour, you can see uh, the bullish encompassing. and see if it'll break uh, previous highs before the end of the week. Um, still above support all the way down. And a weekly close on the Dow. Let's see what's going on. 
Tomorrow is Friday. The weekly closes. Looks bullish. Nice hammer right off the 8. Broke previous highs. Um, we got previous highs at 1880, 18,080. Yep. Look closes up here. Doing pretty good for the next few weeks at least. Wow. NASDAQ still um, struggling to keep up. Uh, hasn't done much. Uh, you can see the bounce here, but no confirmation. So if this breaks down, price breaks down 44.88, um, we got a hanging man confirm confirmation and very well could carry it past the trend and down further. Uh, we also have a falling star, which that one's confirmed. So we'll see what happens tomorrow is Friday uh, for the week. Uh, not much going on for the whole week on this thing. It looks like it's ready to come down and bounce across that eight on a weekly basis. So we'll see. Uh, crude was um, lots of news about the crude, how it slipped. But um, what we're looking at really is a bullish retracement back to support where it broke out. So here's the breakout above 50. So it just came back down and tapped it and bounced a little bit today. Still on a daily, we're well below, uh, well be above the uh, EMA 8, 13, and 34. So plenty of support. We are putting in a double top if it doesn't... Um, want to cooperate but um let's see up to um, previous high break is 51.67 see what's going on on a weekly um we came back in to support in the previous break so keep an eye on it anything below 50 i believe it would be bearish again but um um Cooling off periods are always good. It's just gearing up for a bigger move. Uh, on to gold. Uh, another good day. Uh, it just keeps going. I believe we had... Didn't we have a um, Graves, uh, Dragonfly Doji on the 5-hour? Oh, where did it go? Something change? Let me see. Let me find it. I believe this is where it was on the daily chart. The uh, Dragonfly Doji bounce and then a takeoff. But I, I thought it was way down here, but I can't find it. I wonder if the chart changed. I'm not sure. But um, anywho's, uh, we got a nice bounce continuing this week. Um, from last week's um, bullish piercing pattern as it closed above 50% of the previous candle and it uh, opened down and closed well below 50%. So the continuation is going further. Let's see if we can close 1280. Get this thing to newer highs by uh, next week. We've got one more day to do it. $10, no problem. Let's see what happens. But so far, so good. Let's make sure we get out of this range so we don't have to keep going up and down within the range. But um, looks awesome. Silver, same thing. You can see for the week the uh, bullishness of it. Pretty nice. Previous high break was at 16.47. You saw that. Break above. Take a ride. That would have been awesome for the whole week. Uh, let's see if we can find any reversal bars. See if we're still in it for tomorrow. Looks like we're lagging the last five hours, but um, still within range. Look for previous low breaks, and we got support at 17. Uh, cliffs. They sure took it down right off for the five, 50% of that weekly candle. Um, so, nice pullback for CLF, 
Um, if it closes down here, we are putting in a uh, lower high, so I'd be careful of that. But um, take a previous high break. Uh, support is at five. I would, if you're going to buy it, I would say above five at all times, uh, just because it's an emotional spot on the chart. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing rolling one more time before Friday. It's uh, been a great week so far. Um, GDX still going. Didn't want to fill the gap yet. So it's a gap and run uh, above previous highs. Um, looks like it wants to break out. No need to fill the gap. Well above our previous highs. Looks awesome. Nice bullish piercing pattern. Very, very bullish pattern indeed. Very nice. Uh, GDX same thing. Uh, the previous one was GDXJ. Um, same thing. Bounce. Did not want to cover that uh, gap. So it got lots of support. Held the support. Broke and closed today above previous highs. Uh, for the week. Same thing. Breaking out above previous highs. Looks good for the next bull run. It's primed and ready. Awesome. Uh, last one, uh, Yama, Yamana Gold, AUI. Uh, same thing, following exactly GDX and GDXJ. Little bull move. Looks like uh, the miners are leading gold, as uh, gold has quite a bit of ways to go to break out. Uh, but so far, the miners are taking the lead, and um, they're going to run. I think uh, the next uh, few weeks, we're going to have a good time. So be prepared and um, buy the dips and the flat top breaks. Flat top breaks. Uh, anything above five on this one would be perfect for anybody. Um, just because it's an emotional spot. But the previous high is at 517. Stay above that spot if you're going to buy in. Uh, otherwise, if it goes back below, you're going to be trading inside of the pattern. And uh, the breakout will um, be nullified. So, anywho, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, all your guys' comments. Um, let's make some money. Please share, like, and comment. And let me know what's going on out there. See ya.